Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're trying to find the distance between two points, the point A, indicated by negative 2, 3, and the point B, indicated by 4, negative 5. Those are the x and y coordinates of those two points. Now, the distance formula can be written as follows. The distance between those two points is equal to the square root of the difference between the x coordinates. We'll write it as x2 minus x1, quantity squared, plus the difference between the y-coordinates, y2 minus y1 squared, of the two points. Now it really doesn't matter which point we call 1 and which point we call 2. So for x2 minus x1, we can write negative 2 minus 4, or we can write 4 minus negative 2. It really makes no difference at all because we're going to square the difference in each case. So if you end up with the negative instead of the positive, you square it, the negative disappears anyway. So now when we plug in the values, d is equal to the square root of, so let's take the point b, the x right there, let's call it x2, so it would be 4 minus a minus 2, and we're going to square that, plus let's take y2, which is a minus 5, and subtract from that a positive 3, and we square that, so again, it really doesn't matter which order we place it in, as long as we stay consistent. So here we have d is equal to the square root of 4 minus a minus 2, that would be 4 plus 2, squared, plus a negative 8 squared. So the distance is equal to the square root of, well, 4 plus 2, that's 6, 6 squared is 36, plus a negative 8 squared is 64. So that means that the distance is equal to the square root of 100, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10, which means that the distance between those two points is equal to 10. If we draw a line, like this, from one point to the other, we now know that the line segment is equal to 10, so we can write that AB, which means the length of line segment AB is equal to 10. And that's how we employ the distance formula to find the distance between any two points. It doesn't matter if the line is parallel to the x-axis, par or parallel to the y-axis, parallel to the x-axis, or diagonal across. It makes no difference. We use the same formula, and it always works.